Hey everybody, I'm Tim and today we're going after the competition and you're watching Cigars Daily. Help us future-proof our cigar community when you watch these videos on CigarsDailyPlus.com, a place where we can all share our passion for cigars without having to worry about someone calling us taboo or trying to cancel us. And for this video, I'm enjoying Drew Estate's Undercrown Maduro in the Grand Toro size. This thing is a dark wrappered cigar with incredibly rich flavor, amazing construction, and true to Drew Estate, these things billow smoke like a smokestack from an unregulated regulated factory during the Industrial Revolution. It's that magical time of year when Thanksgiving and Black Friday are right around the corner. As I'm shooting this video, everybody is getting ready to stuff themselves to be overfilled with food and then stuff their credit cards overfilled with charges to get all those holiday goodies. And if you love cigars, for sure, this is something that's going through your mind. Where am I going to get the best deal to fill up on cigars to get me through the end of the year and maybe even into next spring? And this is actually a topic that gets talked about all year, but is particularly relevant this time of year. And it just so happens that I got an email this week as I was filling in in customer service from a guy named Chris. Thank you for sending this, Chris. And I wanted to share some of this email with you now because he asks some really poignant questions. He says, Tim, my name is Chris and I'm a newcomer to the cigar world. I would love to hear your opinion on purchasing online which by the way is a weird question to ask a guy who sells stuff online. Okay, uh, aside from a lo small local brick and mortar shop that I have in my general location, I have only purchased from <laughs> I like getting stuff at bargain prices as does everyone else in the world, but I've had some questionable cigars show up at my doorstep condition wise. What makes online cigar shops better or worse than others? And I've noticed that I need to put all my cigars in my humidor and let them sit for a few weeks to enjoy them at what I believe to be the fullest. Is this common? Well, there's a few really, really great questions right here. And so today in this video, I wanted to take you guys inside the world of online cigars and let you know sort of what to expect, and even what to watch out for. If you tool around online and look at all of the online cigar shops out there, you're gonna notice that they really all just have one thing in common. Every single one of them has got some five-star reviews, probably has some one-star reviews, and somewhere in between. In fact, pretty much all companies have this because there's no company that's given 100% of people a perfect experience. So it's regular to see reviews sort of range for people because people have different experiences. But I can tell you this about online cigar shops. They're not all together completely different than the local brick and mortar shops that you'd find in a normal town. And here's what I mean. If you go to like a few different shops in your town, you may notice that like one of them is an incredibly nice, luxurious cigar shop that has a great lounge with like leather furniture, the big screen TVs. Maybe they even got drinks and you can get a scotch while you're there. That would be great. A high end shop for a high end experience. And then down the road, there might be another shop that's like, yeah, hey, we're a mom and pop shop. And that looks like the lounge was filled with furniture from a goodwill and there's two inches of dust on the shelf and you go in the humidor and you're like, whoa, where is the humidifier even at in this place? And certainly if you go all over the country, you'll see these two extremes and everywhere in between because cigar shops all sort of have different DNAs from each other. Like they're built differently and the people who own them have different philosophies on how to run them. And truly, there's a different cigar shop for everyone out there. The luxurious cigar shop is for a particular type of clientele that really wants to be pampered. And that mom and pop shop with the Goodwill furniture is probably great for a lot of people who will go in there and enjoy the lounge every day because that's where their people are and they love the cigars that they get there. And it's not that there's a right or wrong to this, it's just sort of different strokes for different folks. And when it comes to online cigar companies, I think about them in very much the same way. During my time in the cigar industry, I have had the tremendous privilege to become good friends with people who work at different online cigar shops. And I have a lot of respect for these people, even though there are competition here at Cigars Daily. But there's one thing that I've noticed about so many of these shops is that they all have different specialties or different values, really. Like you'll go into some shops and just like the luxury shop, some shops are like, we're gonna have the widest selection or we're gonna have the best possible pricing or we're gonna have 
have the best customer service. There's certain things that they say we'll be good at, and the only one you can't trust is the one who claims to be good at absolutely everything. They talk about like sort of the three, like the triangle, the three parts of sales. Things can be good, they can be cheap, or they can be fast, or they can be any two of those, but nobody does all three. So when it comes to cigar companies, you sort of have to see what the values are. I can really only speak for cigars daily when it comes to values. Here, our goal is to have the best and most amazing customer service that we can. We want your experience here to be great and we want you to feel like family. At the same time, we also work to have the best selection at the best prices that we can. And while some portions of this are out of our control, we focus on those two areas and are always working to provide more value in them. When it comes to a lot of the other cigar shops out there, there are so many people that can give you their good and bad experiences that at the end of the day, it's really up to you to decide what your values are and look for a shop that shares those in common. And then I got a big ass warning for everybody that comes in the form of a golden rule that really applies to most industries, but at least as much to cigars. And it's this, if a deal seems too good to be true, it very well may be. And not 100% of the time for sure, but this is a general rule that I've seen apply more often than not. And here's how it typically works. You go online, you go to your favorite website, you look in and you see a deal. They're like, oh my God, it's a deal too good to pass up. So you buy it. And sometimes you get the cigars, they're exactly what you expected and you won, you got a deal, it's fantastic. But other times I see people who are complaining about getting cigars that are moldy or dry or cracked, or they spent weeks in the mail. And these type of cigars are usually associated with some of these like deals that are just too good to be true. It's a reason that I put this warning out there. Certainly sometimes you get what you pay for and certainly sometimes you get a really great deal. And again, I'm not trying to slam anyone in particular because I know a lot of people at different cigar websites that are great people and do a fantastic job. At the same time, I can only speak for Cigars Daily. It's the reason that for us, we know that on our website, you guys will get a good deal, but you're also gonna get the best quality product from the author authorized manufacturer of that product who is going to give you the best quality cigar you can get. So you pay a little bit more than the ultra steep discounters, but you also get more out of the money that you're spending. And then I want to touch really briefly on the last question that Chris asked about caring for cigars you get when he says, I've noticed that I need to put all my cigars into my humidor uh, and let them set for a few weeks to enjoy them at what I believe to be the fullest. Is this common? And this is something that I like talking about in the world of cigars because I, I meet these guys and gals who are like all for snickety about it. And they're like, well, I only buy my cigars at a brick and mortar because I don't want them to ship through the mail. And I guess that's a good point. Like you do have an added benefit of going into a brick and mortar. It's one of the values they provide. You're supporting a local shop, but you get to walk in, go into the humidor, and hopefully someone's not following you suspiciously and weirdly, but you can actually touch the cigars, feel for soft spots, see what kind of condition the humidor is in and know exactly where your cigars are coming from and which cigars out of the box you're getting. And there's value there truly. At the same time, I think this is silly, this notion that people don't want to get cigars that ship because all cigars ship. All of them ship. All of them go through the mail, every single one. Like, unless you're standing in a cigar factory in Nicaragua and a dude rolls a cigar, puts the cap on it, and puts it in your hand... Other than that, it's all going through the mail. The cigar is gonna go into a box, that box is gonna go into a box, into a container, onto a ship, or in a plane sent to America, where then it will go on a truck and go to a warehouse for a manufacturer. And then when it gets purchased by a shop, it'll go on another truck or a plane and get shipped to that shop. So pretty much every cigar ships about twice before it ever gets into your hot little hand. The difference is when you buy from an online company, it's gonna spend hopefully only an extra two, three, or four, or five days in the mail at absolute tops to get it to your actual home. And the benefit you get there is the convenience of getting it. And truly, this is something that I say for storing your cigars and resting them after you buy them, regardless of whether you got them from an online company that mailed them to you or from a brick and mortar shop in your neighborhood. You should let them rest and you should let them rest to the degree you feel that they're the best rested. Like Chris says that he rests his cigars for a few weeks to get them right where he wants them. And that's a pretty safe way to go. If you can be a few weeks ahead of what you intend to smoke, you should, because you'll enjoy your cigars a lot more. But at the same time, there's a lot of people who just don't care about that. They wanna smoke a cigar the second they get it. 
I happen to be one of those people. As soon as cigars arrive here at the Cigars Daily HQ, whether it's a big pallet of American Viking cigars or boxes and boxes of Drew Estate cigars like the Undercrown, I will almost always crack one open right out of the box, light it up and get it going because I just don't want to wait. I like smoking cigars. But at the end of the day, I'll tell you this. If you want to be safe, you should rest them. Whether you're buying at brick and mortar or online, it just gets them to where you really want them to be. The only exception to this is if like your local brick and mortar shop stores cigars exactly the way that you want them to, or if you just don't care and you're going to light them up pretty much no matter what. And again, I'll tell you, I think a lot of the value of this video will happen in the comments. So please drop a comment down below. Tell us about your experiences or give warnings. Talk about the places you love. If it's a brick and mortar shop, if you've loved something at Cigars Daily, please drop it down there. But please just don't slam another brand or a shop because these guys are really, really great and there is a different shop out there for everybody. And again, check this video out on CigarsDailyPlus.com because we're always working to make it better there and it lets us survive longer than you know the cancel culture wants to let us survive and thank you guys so much for watching this is tim signing off for cigars daily and i will see you in the comments